Virgin Galactic says it could resume test flights as soon as next summer. That follows last week's crash of one of its spaceships. Investigators are trying to find out what went wrong. One pilot was killed, a second parachuted to safety. John Blackstone shows us how the odds were stacked against anyone surviving. Release, release, release. This is what was supposed to happen when Virgin Galactic Spaceship 2 detached from its mothership just after breaking the sound barrier. Instead, it disintegrated, an estimated 45 to 50,000 feet above the Mojave Desert. On board were pilot Peter Siebold and co-pilot Michael Alsbury. My heart just jumped. Kenneth Brown was taking photos as the disaster unfolded. It was just very obvious that there was a serious accident. What he didn't know as he watched the aircraft break into pieces was that Siebold was plummeting through thin air without oxygen in some of the deadliest conditions known to man. When you get up to those high altitudes where your blood boils at 50,000 feet, you don't have any time. 92-year-old former test pilot Bob Hoover has been in five crashes and is one of the few people who has survived a similar plunge. It's a terrifying experience, to say the least. Hoover says it's a miracle Siebold made it back alive with little more than a parachute. Obviously, he did everything correctly, but the mystery is how he could survive long enough in that inert atmosphere where you can't breathe properly and free fall at the kind of temperature his body was exposed to. Investigators are trying to determine exactly how Siebold got out safely while his co-pilot did not. Hoover considers them both heroes. Somebody has to do that, that legwork of experimental flight. It's our future. A future for space flight that is now uncertain as the investigation into the crash continues. For CBS This Morning, John Blackstone, San Francisco.